This is the heck mouth from Adorable Electronics. And before I started recording this, I was double checking some of the information on it, and I read something that I had just for some reason never noticed before, and now I totally understand why I like this pedal so much. So let's talk about it. Before we get started this week, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's here. Whether you're new, whether you've been here a dozen times, a hundred times, whatever, one time, hey listen, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, go ahead and do the YouTube stuff, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, share the video, turn on the notification bell, do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Adorable Electronics is kind of a side project for Abominable Electronics. Abom abominable. Abominable? Ab like the snowman. The Heckmouth specifically is a kind of stripped down version of the Hellmouth from Abominable. Uh, and it's their take on kind of your classic tube screamer, but there's a twist and it makes, it makes total sense why I like this pedal now. So I'm not really a tube screamer guy. I just, I don't love them. Uh, but I got this a while back and I got a really good deal on it. I thought it was so cool looking. I was like, I can't pass it up for this price. I started playing it and I really loved it. You guys heard it all over last week's video for the orange terror stamp. Now, there was definitely something about it that stood out to me. It's like, it's a tube screamer, but it's not a tube screamer. It's like better, and it's like different, but you can also still tell it's the same, you know, like that whole kind of, that makes sense, right? You guys get what I'm saying? Anyhow, I really dug it. I thought it was a cool pedal, um, and I was just like, okay, they just design really awesome pedals over at Abominable slash Adorable uh, Electronics, and that's why it's good. And yeah, that's probably true, but when I check the website before I start recording, this circuit was actually designed by none other than the great Kurt Ballou from Converge, and I was like, yeah, of course it was. Kurt's one of my favorite guitar players of all time. He's one of my favorite, like, producers of all time. I love everything he does. I love the God City instruments. I've only gotten the pleasure of playing a couple of his pedals and I've never actually had one in my possession to sit down with. I've played in my shops before, uh, but I love everything Kurt does. I love Converge. And so when I found out that he designed this circuit, I was like, duh, of course, that's why it's so great. I'm not going to talk for super long, um, but I got scolded for saying that last week, so in case I talk a little long for you, there are going to be timestamps down below. Uh, but I've had a super long week. I'm moving. I'm starting a new job. It's 100 degrees outside. All of that stuff. And I just, I'm a little pushed for time. So we're going to get into the sounds. Before we start, you've got volume, tone, and gain, just like you would have on a normal Tube Screamer or just about any other Tube Screamer clone type thing. Very straightforward. You think you know what you're getting, you have an idea, and then you start playing it, and it really, really jumps out at you. And these are very affordably priced pedals, which makes me love it even more. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into those sounds. <laughs> Thank 
That was it. That was the heck mouth uh, from Adorable Electronics. I'm going to mess those two words up every time. They're so close, and I have a lot of trouble saying abominable anyhow. Anyhow, listen, I love this pedal. This is my favorite Tube Screamer I've ever played. I love it so much. Uh, I think it has maybe not the most range of any pedal I've ever played. I do think once you get up to maybe about 3 o'clock-ish on the gain, anything after that, it, there's just not a huge difference. But, I mean, you're still looking at a good 80% of the gain knob gives you a lot of variety. And I think that's awesome for how affordable this pedal is. I do keep saying it's affordable. I'm not going to tell you the price because it changes. I'm not going to be responsible for that. And the last time I checked, which was just a few minutes ago, they were out of stock anyhow. But keep an eye out uh, on Adorable Electronics. Follow them on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, if you get a chance to get one of these, get it. Don't even think about it. Just get it. All right. Hey, that's it for me. Like I said, short, sweet. Hopefully it was short enough for some of you. Um, but I also hopefully said enough to kind of make it worth actually listening to. I hope everyone has an amazing week. I'm going to go take a super long nap. Later. Yeah.